Hey, what is going on with y'all, man? It is Black Balloon, and I'm coming back with another video. So y'all already know what's going on. All right, y'all. Now, as y'all can see by the title of this video, we're going to dive back into the Diddy case. As I told y'all before, we would cover the ongoing investigation into P. Diddy. As far as trafficking and everything that they alleged, he has took part in. Now, it's a lot. A lot of stuff has been coming out, y'all. Old names that were once involved with Diddy. I think even Jennifer Lopez's name has been brought up. Um, you know, a lot of stuff has come out. Some of the stuff we already know about as it comes from previous lawsuits with Lil Rod, Cassie, you know, um, Cuba Gooden Jr., a lot of stuff is just resurfacing and they're even going into further details into some of those situations as well. In this video, we're going to watch a couple of clips, um, talk about the latest news that has came out since they raided Diddy's three properties in New York, L.A. and Miami. So, yeah, y'all, we're just going to take this video to go back down everything that's been going on for those that may have not seen it you know some people watch the videos and be like i haven't even saw this yet so hey that's why i do these videos keep updating y'all and as this continues to go on man it should get pretty interesting what will eventually come from all this so with that being said y'all we'll jump into the first clip of this video Check this out. We begin right now with exclusive information on the latest in the Diddy investigation. I have learned from sources that investigators have found several weapons inside his homes. Several. They also have found videos. It's been reported that Diddy has collected images of people in compromising situations at his residences. TMZ now obtained this video uh, inside his home in Los Angeles after the raid by federal agents. It's reported that Diddy is the target of a sex trafficking investigation that comes after he was hit with a wave of civil lawsuits alleging sexual assault and trafficking. I've also learned exclusively that Diddy is in Miami. Authorities know exactly where he is. They've been in touch with his legal team. Sources tell me he's trying to avoid the paparazzi and they're telling me he will not be arrested soon. Now it makes sense a little bit more why they actually raided his three properties. So at first we didn't know exactly why, but now it's clear that they were looking for the video footage. That came to light a lot more in that little Rod lawsuit where he was telling everyone that, you know, in the lawsuit that Diddy records people without them having any knowledge of it. Now, I think even Gene Deal talked about that before as well, but this time it was actually in a lawsuit. And, you know, just by this picture right here that's on the screen, someone that was actually there and recently and felt like this was something he had to go after Diddy for because he was basically being sexually assaulted, you know, being groped on by Cuba Gooden Jr. Honestly, I won't even feel the same watching Boys in the Hood no more. <laughs> Jerry Maguire, I won't even feel the same. I think everybody knew Cuba Gooden Jr. was a wild dude, but man, after seeing him involved in, in some of the stuff he been involved in lately, it's just, it's kind of hard to look at him the same. He, he definitely ain't Trey from Boys in the Hood no more. I can tell you that right now. But as far as the whole thing with them finding footage and saying that he's not going to be arrested right now, you know, like right now he's not facing criminal charges i'm assuming that's what they're saying but it's possible that he will face those charges in fact the clip that we're gonna watch next um i think it's from that law and crime channel here on youtube they talk about it a little bit more like as if he definitely will face those charges and it will be something on the scale that's five to ten times bigger because of so many witnesses compared to like epstein and harvey weinstein and all that that this is going to be even bigger it's really already reached that level because this is being covered probably more than those cases, but we already know why those cases weren't covered as much as this. This is a little bit lower tier for the people that were involved. You know, the whole Epstein thing went to presidents and 
politicians and all kind of people, but it's the same game because Epstein used videos and pictures for blackmail. It's the same thing Diddy was doing. We just, I think we just talked about this in a couple videos back where we did another video on Diddy. It doesn't surprise me that he has videos, he has footage of, you know, things people have been doing at his parties and so on and so on and using it as blackmail. But y'all, the truth is here. I remember making videos and speculating on this kind of stuff. Early 2010s, all the conspiracy videos we used to watch coming up when, you know, we was a little bit younger, when none of us was making videos or any of that. This was all speculation. We in a time where it's here. The truth is here. It's out. It's in lawsuits. So this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. But look. We're gonna go ahead and dig into the information a little bit more. So check this out. I think we're about to see something on the level of Epstein, Weinstein to the power of 10. From members of the royal family to Grammy and Academy Award winners, we're breaking down all the A-list celebrities named in court docs against P. Diddy, along with some startling accusations. I mean, first of all, that, that entire filing was just gasp. I'm not seeing a scenario where he can escape liability, criminal liability. He's been known for years as a renowned rapper, producer, and label executive who goes by the names P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or his legal name, Sean Combs. Whatever name you want to call him, he's no stranger to legal troubles. Just this week, both Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles were raided by Homeland Security. According to former prosecutor Melba Pearson, they're likely looking for some specific evidence. The feds are doing raids at three different homes of P. Diddy, including his homes in California, in Florida, and in New York. And what I think they're looking for are videos. So basically, P. Diddy had a habit, allegedly, based on told to us through the filings by uh, Cassie Ventura. They have all said that he had a habit of liking to video either him abusing other people or in, you know, forcing other people to abuse each other for his pleasure and I would record all of that. So I think those are some of the things that the feds are looking for. I think they're looking for other types of evidence to corroborate. I don't know that Cooper Gooding Jr. is going to escape from that one. Let's start with the allegations against Academy Award winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Lil Rod alleges Diddy was, quote, grooming him to pass him off to his friends. This fear became reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. when they were on Mr. Combs's yacht. There's actually photos of their interaction together, too, which are laid out in those court documents. In the first pic, you see Diddy and Cuba talking with Diddy's arms on Cuba's. In the next pic, Cuba has his arm around Lil Rod and is smirking. Court docs go on to state, quote, Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. He rejected his advances and Mr. Gooding Jr. did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away. In the last couple of years, there were allegations against him for sexual assault. So now we have those prior allegations and now we see him tied to this case as allegedly uh, trying to, you know, uh, assault a little rod, assault others. Back in 2019, Cuba was booked on misdemeanor charges of forcible touching and sexual abuse after he allegedly groped a woman in Times Square. By the next year, three women had come forward accusing him of non-consensual sexual touching. He eventually reached a deal with prosecutors that required six months of counseling, but no jail time. All right, y'all. Now, in this part of the video, we'll take the time to go over a couple of clips that have been coming back up since all of this started when Diddy's homes got raided. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen them because a lot of stuff has just been coming back around full circle and it's all making sense to people. Like I said earlier in the video, we were at a point where we were like speculating some of this stuff, especially y'all remember that clip with Justin Bieber. Remember, I put that in the video we did a while back, a couple of months ago on Diddy. I can throw it back in here just for context really quick, show a little piece of it, but. You ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, 
they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream, um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him, you know, he yeah. signed the Usher, I'm Usher. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you know he he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So um, and yeah, and, um, and, and yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. A lot of stuff has been coming back up. Even the situation he had with J Lo. Uh, the situation with pinning that shooting when the girl got shot in the nose on Shine when the girl says that Diddy was the app one that actually did it. We're going to check that clip out as well. Um, his name coming back up, as it's been mentioned plenty of times with Tupac's death. You know, um, I got a clip that shows both of those together as far as the shooting with Shine and Tupac's death and how Diddy name has always been brought up by grand juries, indictments, or whatever, whatever, with Keefe D as far as Tupac's murder. Now, that situation is, you know, that's a whole deep rabbit hole in itself. If y'all, you know, been around for a while, y'all already know I did a video on Pac, and it gets deep, you know. Um, even if Diddy had a hand in it, it's deeper than the surface, deeper than what we know. But, you know, just want to take this time to jump into some of the stuff that's been coming back up around Diddy. Um, so yeah, man, y'all check this out. Back in 1999, Holmes was arrested for a shooting at a nightclub in Manhattan. His then girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez was with him and put in cuffs for hours. Holmes and his bodyguard were charged, but acquitted at trial. Only rapper Jamal Shine Barrow was convicted and served time for the shooting. Victim Natanya Rubin was shot in the nose and told News Nation that it was not Shine, but Sean Combs who shot her that night. I started immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns. I've had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it, you know, vehemently to all parties involved. Again, that was back in 1999. But Combs's name also came up many, many times in an incident three years earlier in 1996 in Las Vegas, thousands of miles from New York when Tupac Shakur was murdered. Combs wasn't in Vegas that night, but a man who claimed he knew Combs, who then went by Puffy, was. His name was Dwayne Keefe D. Davis. Keefe D. is now charged with ordering Tupac Shakur's murder. Keefe D. told the cops years ago that Combs offered $1 million to anyone willing to kill Tupac Shakur and Death Row Records CEO Suge Knight. It's important to note that Sean Combs has never, ever been charged in connection to Tupac Shakur's death, but his name came up many times in the grand jury testimony that led to Keefe D being charged. A witness testified that Keefe D and his nephew, Orlando Anderson, were in charge of the relationship between their gang, the Southside Compton Crips, and Bad Boy Records. Death Row Records was connected to the Bloods. The night that Tupac Shakur was killed, a witness testified that Eric Zip Martin, an associate of Sean Combs gave Keefe D the gun the night that Tupac was shot. Now, the craziest thing about the whole thing with Diddy being involved in Tupac's murder or possibly being the one that put the hit out, offered up a million dollars. First off, if you want to believe that, a lot of people don't believe Pac is dead. That's why I say y'all can go back and watch my Pac video. I fully believe that there was two Tupacs at the MGM the night that he got killed. Now, I'm not going to use this video to go back over all the points that I made in the Pac video, but y'all remember, I also showed y'all that picture of Pac of the two Tupacs. They were not the same people. They were literally, it was his body double. There was two of them. So, that's why I said it's super deep on that story. So it's almost like whatever you want to believe. If you believe this was a straight up, you know, Diddy orchestrated this hit, use Orlando Anderson, Keefe D. They actually killed Pac. You know, it's so deep. The rabbit hole is so deep. You know, it's, it's almost left up to like, OK, whatever you want to believe. They somehow prove it was Diddy. I don't even know if I would still believe it because 
I got Diddy and Biggie picture up right here because Biggie's name is not even mentioned as far as like Diddy being behind it. It's almost like you would think Diddy was the one responsible for sacrificing Biggie more than you would think about him being involved in Pac murder. Out of all of this stuff going on, I don't think Biggie's name has been mentioned once. They're going far back to 1999 and the shooting with Sean and J-Lo. Just, you know, digging up all the stuff like his legal, legal troubles and all that, bringing all that back. I understand how it goes because they're looking at the entire picture, adding everything together like, OK, this is who he is. It all makes sense. You know, Diddy is a real demon and he may have a lot more blood on his hands than a lot of people think. But I just find it crazy that, you know, you would really think Diddy had something to do with Biggie's death, but that's really not even mentioned. You know, it's not brought up that much as far as how much his name is brought up with Pac's death. Like, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want to be around someone that got that kind of longevity in the game and has been around so much death, murder, conspiracy, mystery, you know, sex. I couldn't imagine what goes on in Diddy's mind, bro. I couldn't imagine it. I don't think any of y'all would ever want to be in his shoes. I just could not imagine it. He's been around so long. He's done so much dirt, so much darkness around him. It is, I just couldn't fathom being in his shoes, knowing what he knows. Because like I always say, we all got to answer to somebody when it's all over with. But... You know, I just really find that interesting, man. The whole Pac thing, you know, that's like I said, man, we're not going to tackle all that. That's a whole nother topic. You know, if more comes out, then so be it. So be it. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not going to keep going at it. Well, I don't know if anybody really agree with me because, you know, certain people sign up to get fucked. Certain people, if you're going to keep it real, certain people sign up to do the job of paying their rent that way. Right. You know, I didn't sign up for that. I felt like my talent was enough. <laughs> So, now that four years later that I have experience in seeing, not putting anyone's business out because, you know, what you do in your personal bed is whatever you do. Um, but as far as me, um, when I go to an appearance, I want to get paid for that appearance. All right, y'all. Now I just wanted to throw that last random clip in the video. As y'all know, that was from day 26. And I think that was a couple years after they were signed to Bad Boy and had already experienced pretty much everything they were going to see from Diddy in the industry. I just thought it was pretty funny that um, I forget the guy's name that was talking. You know, I thought I thought he was bold for what he was saying. If I'm correct, the guy Willie, his body language showed something very different. Like he was laughing in the beginning, but as Buddy kept talking about it from day 26, his body language really changed. And I almost felt like he was talking about some of the members in the group right there because, you know, he, he said it clear as day. Some people joined to get hit. Others joined because of their talent and they wanted to keep it that way. So, you know, like I said earlier in the video, I just wanted to put this together just to kind of show a bunch of the clips that's been going viral since all of this has come to light about Diddy. Thought it would be a pretty good video to go ahead and do, man. So with that being said, y'all, I think we'll get a Diddy thing a break for a while unless something, you know, new really comes out. And uh, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Let me know what y'all got to think about everything, especially the thing with Tupac and um, shooting that was supposedly done by Diddy that they made Sean be the fall guy for it. So yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. With that being said, it's Black Balloon, and I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.